and the, and the coaches have very high. A great chapter to begin. Let's go, Hunter. Still on his feet. Slip the tackle, 20, 15, 10.
T. Howard's done a great job over the last month. Chris Shul has done outstanding with him. And then, you know, another guy that just comes to mind as you ask that question is, you know, you look at Kendall Blanton. You know, you lose Tyler Habe, such an instrumental part of our offense. And he stepped in. West Phillips does such a great job. But all hands on deck. Everybody was ready to go. There were so many key contributors today. And like I said, I'm just so proud of this group. You know, we didn't really look at it like that. You know, we, we looked at just being in this moment, taking care of this game today. It was the NFC Championship. Huge, uh, you know, huge game. Our guys did a great job. And really, you know, each game is its own separate entity. And uh, I, I'm really just happy those guys got it done today. Thank you. I thought Odell was outstanding today. You know, to be able to go over 100, he had some key and critical catches. To be able to extend drives, the one down the left sideline when they were playing kind of split safety where they're kind of reading the coverage and half field player didn't get over the top and he ends up adding on an extra 15 with the late hit. But he is uh, he's a special player. He's so smart. He's so talented, so gifted. And he's brought such a charisma and a presence and, you know, really a swag to our team. And, you know, and, and he's uh, love, love Odell. Really just happy for him. How about this music? Let's keep it quick. We're going to get in there. How did It did. You know, I thought Cam ran hard. I thought Sony had some tough runs that he leveled off. And um, I thought it was able to open up some, some big windows in the pass game. I thought uh, our guys did a great job being able to mix up the tempo, apply pressure to an outstanding defense where they've been really teeing off on guys. I'm so proud of our offensive line. I thought they held up really tough, battled, you know, really, you know, Every single snap, and you look at that front, they rotate eight guys through there. They're outstanding. D'Amico Ryan does a great job. Chris Kassar, um, and so we knew what a challenge it would be, but but the run game was very key and critical, even though it was just kind of tough, hard-earned yards to set some other things up, no doubt about it. Uh, what do you think the answer to that question is? <laughs> here's, a, here's what I would say, Gary. We went out and got him because we thought it was a chance to be able to get a great player of his magnitude. Those things don't come around often. What he's done, he's elevated everybody around him. He's made me a better coach. He's made his teammates better. He's such a great person. I think you guys know from getting a chance to interact with him, if you don't root for this guy, something's wrong with you. And, uh, you know, he's a great competitor. I think we saw that in each of the last couple. We've seen that really throughout the whole season, but I think it's really been on uh, on display these last couple weeks. We talk about competitive greatness all the time, being your best when your best was required. He embodied com competitive greatness today. Love Matthew Stafford, Gary. What about it with Well, I think the, the respect for each other came into the game, and, and we knew what a physical game it would be. I thought our guys did a great job controlling their emotions. We didn't have anything where, um, you know, you're giving them something cheap, and, and I was proud of that. And our guys came out. They, they had a good look in their eye, really, the last couple weeks, but especially this week. They knew that it was its own separate entity from the previous games, and they came out here and delivered in a big way. Coach, what are you looking for, guys? I'll get you next. Go ahead. I think he's played like he's capable of. You know, Risen, I you know, I think he's played like we thought he would. And he's in, you know, no moment's too big for him. I can tell you that much, Jordan. He's elevating everybody around him. Um, you know, we got one more. We know it's gonna be a great challenge. So happy for Zach Taylor and the Bengals. What a tough resilient group they are, but uh, really so happy for Matthew. Andrew Whitworth, I mean, you know, Aaron Donald, Bond. And there's just so many guys that I'm just so happy for. Jalen Ramsey, but we got some more work to do. Well, you kind of touched on it there. What are, your, what are your initial thoughts on playing Zach Taylor? It's, uh, you know, really congratulations to them for winning the AFC. You look at the start of that game, I think they're a great, resilient team. It didn't look good for them, and they've just continued to show why they're a mentally tough outfit. I think that's reflected by their head coach. Um, I know what a great coach he is. They've done a great job this year. You know, we've crossed over with him a little bit, but I'm looking forward to diving into the tape and, and figuring out how we can put together a good game plan to, to try to see if we can finish this thing off. If we get Mike, if we get Jim. Cooper Cup's amazing. He's just a special player. You know, I talked about Matthew with competitive greatness. Cooper, Cooper was that today. Just big catch after big catch. He's competing in the run game. He does so many things. We would have no chance of being here without Cooper Cup. Mike! I like how artists got loud right there, man. That's a hey, that way to take control of that. Go ahead, Mike. You're talking about the defense there and the clutch there coming through for you guys. 
Raheem Morris, outstanding coach, Mike Jones. I mean, he is uh, he's special. His poise in the crunch time moments is on display. I thought he made some great calls. I thought he put our guys in great spots. They ultimately delivered. But Raheem is one of the best competitors. He's got such a great charisma and presence. But during the games, he's so steady, so even keeled. I think that's why you saw our guys kind of reflect that, where we had some things that were kind of uncharacteristic, some miscommunication. He got, it, he got connected with the group, got it communicated the way that we wanted to be able to handle it, and they closed it out. And huge credit to Raheem Moore. So grateful for him. He's a yeah. stud. No, Gary, Gary Klein asked that question and put that out there. But, you know, you know a teacher. No, it didn't. It did not have to be. Go ahead, Jim. Gary, no more questions for Gary for the next two weeks. I wouldn't say that. You know, I, we knew, I think we knew what a great team this was, but you guys think it might just be coach speak, but our guys genuinely knew, hey, we're familiar with this opponent, but the previous six games where we didn't find a way to finish have nothing to do with what's going to occur at 3.30 or 3.40 when we kick this thing off. And those are separate entities. Our guys did a great job of being able to compartmentalize. We always talk about being totally and completely present, having a short memory from the good and the bad, being able to hit that reset button. thought our guys did that in a big way, Jim, and, Looking forward to enjoying this and then being able to get back to work. Just grateful to be working still and love this team. And we will wrap up with Barry. Last one. Uh, coach, uh, what's your take on being on the second team in history? Second two years, but he's behind the Super Bowl in your own home I think it's special. Uh, I thought the fans were outstanding today. Um, to be able to play at home, you know, in this house that Mr. Cronkie built, this iconic venue is, is really unique. Uh, a little bit easier travel schedule for us as we travel all over the country during the course of the year for the most part. So, uh, just so happy for this group, proud to be associated with it. Thanks, guys. Um, they went out there and did their thing and, and uh, got the win. Yeah, I mean, uh, she's fired up. 
<laughs> and uh, you know, I I couldn't have done it without her. She's uh, she's an unbelievable part of my life. I'm so lucky to be with her and, and have the children that I have and uh, the family that I have. It's, uh, it's the best part of my life. Uh, this is great, but that's so much better. And uh, to share that moment with her was was so cool. She's been through uh, a lot of that with me, and uh, we've leaned on each other at separate times. You know, to, to help ourselves, you know, get through whatever we're having to, you know, get through. And uh, she's uh, she's special to me, and, and I'm just so happy I got to, you know, spend that time with her. Matthew, what's your take on hosting the Super Bowl? Excuse me? What's your take on hosting the Super Bowl this day? I mean, it's great that it's here. I, I We were playing it, and I didn't give a hell where it was. I mean, I don't <laughs> sure where it is. I'm like, I just want to play in the dang thing. But uh, the fact that it's under this roof, uh, it's going to be awesome. Our fans did an unbelievable job tonight, um, you know, making it uh, making it a tough environment. And um, nice to send some of those red jerseys home, so that was cool. <laughs> All right, guys, what we got for today? Man, it's, uh, it's surreal, man. And I've been on this guy for a long time, man. Um, definitely put the work in on and off the field, man. And it's, uh, it's just a blessing, you know, to be here and experience it with your teammates. And, of course, man, your real brothers, man. It's, you know, it's so surreal, man. It's, uh, all I can do is say, uh, you know, thank God. Is there a nickname for this fashion bill? I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you, man. I don't got a name for it. Oh, man, what does it mean for, obviously, Vaughn, you've been here before, of oh, the whole journey from the Giants to Cleveland, you know, just to be able to do it together and persevere through all the adversity? Man, I remember, uh, um, you know, all, all everything was going down, and I was getting that phone call from Vaughn and Jalen. Like, man, come on. tell you every come. day, every day, every and I'm day. like, oh no, man, I don't know. Um, and and it just was on my heart, and I felt like this was the right place. And I just can't say enough about God, and, and um, just staying down and staying in faith. Uh, just truly an amazing moment. Here with Vaughn, this is a brother. We talked about this. Yep. Didn't ever think that it would really be possible. Um, you gotta watch what you say, man. You, you really gotta watch what you say, what man. It's a law of attraction for you. I mean, what, what, what has made this work? What, what, you know, how how would you have made it be what, what, Why has it worked so well for you here? It's just, it's been everything, you know, from McVay, Stafford, Cool, just uh, being integrated into the plan, taking me in, you know, just pushing me for excellence. The the, the weight room, every everything about this place is right and it's done right. Um, and it's just been an incredible opportunity um, that I feel like I'm just trying to make the most of. I and mean, you know, here we are playing in the Super Bowl, one game away from our dreams, and keep going. Bye. Man, the culture here is amazing. Um, we didn't have anything to do with that. Um, I, I think it just comes from the top down. Coach McVay, you know, leaders on this team, Aaron Donald, uh, Robert Woods, uh, Cooper Cup. These guys have uh, built something special, man. And it's an honor and a privilege to be a part of it. And, um, you know, to join it mid-season and for them to accept us with open arms and, you know, for it to be a smooth transition and for them to motivate us and we motivate them. And, to be in a city like Los Angeles, man, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's really crazy, man. I, you know, when you sit down and pray for stuff, man, and you can never imagine, you know, it being like this. You know, you just gotta stay down, like like Odell said, stay prayed up, continue to work day in and day night, man, and just prepare for your opportunity. Vaughn, uh, well, last time you guys faced this team a few weeks ago, right around the same time left on the clock, they come down and get a game time touchdown. How badly did you want to be in that same situation with a chance to shut the door this time and for OBJ? What does this feel like for the Super Bowl and you're about to be a father? Man, could happen any moment. <laughs> so we got to wrap this up. I got to get home. Um, but, you know, it just was a, it, it wasn't a great feeling, uh, you know, interception, you know, right in front of me and allowing the 49ers in. But I, I keep saying that I really believe in God's plan because I told people they were going to beat Dallas. I told them they were going to beat Green, Green Bay, Bay. In Green Bay. In Green Bay. And they were, we were going to have an opportunity to come here and play them again and just fully capitalized on it. Like I said, that 0-6, whatever was gonna happen, I mean, the story could not be written any better for us to play them in the NFC Championship and shut the door. Man, they got a tough team, they got, they got a tough team. I don't, I don't know if it could have been another team that could have went to uh, Dallas and beat Dallas the way they did and then go to Green Bay 
and beat Green Bay the way that they did. And, you know, they beat us. You know, if um, if we'd have won that game, you know, I don't, I don't think the teams line up to you know create this path for us. So it's definitely God's plan. But it definitely feels good to get our lick back. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about how important was Aaron's words to you guys on the sideline down 17. Oh, it was great, man. You know, he's been he's been. He, he's been Aaron Donald, you know, vocally, um, physically, emotionally, you know, and um, no, he's on the field, <laughs> you know. But you know, he, uh, you know, that's that's what leaders do, man. And you know, he's a he's, he's a great leader, man. It just feels it just feels good to contribute. Like I said, man, you know, Super Bowl is, is all he needs, man. He can he can walk off to the sunset, and I'm gonna do everything in my power, you know, to make that happen. Vaughn, what's it like going back to a Super Bowl, having not just won one, but maybe playing the best game of your life the last time you were there? Oh, it's great, man. It's just something about the bright lights that uh, make you sweat. And um, <laughs> it's something about the bright lights that bring the most out of you. You know, especially, especially if you're playing for your teammates, your family. You know, he's about to be a father. You know, I've been a father for five months, man. And, you know, I just I just pray to God that, um, you know, that my desires are lined up with his desires. And we got one more game. Okay, another, 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 you know, a lot of talk when you were leaving Cleveland as far as, you know, being open and not open all this other stuff and Sean McVay's ability just for the back half of this season to get you integrated in the offense with everything that was a talk beforehand. Again, like I said, man, they've made it seamless, uh, you know, with the meetings, the extra work, just helping me to be prepared so I can go out there and play fast. You know, the first, the very first game we played San Francisco at San Francisco, um, the first player of the game, the ball was thrown my way and it's just been that they've instilled confidence into me. Um, and bro, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment, but you know, still thinking about the bigger picture. Another point, another point. Another point, 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 point come back. Like this, you guys talk about the resilience, but both of you are out of this display, that Mamba mentality. How much did that influence? We saw you with the Mamba kicks on earlier. You always talked about the Mamba mentality. So how much did that influence you and help you keep it? You know, on the second anniversary of, of his death, you know, I live right down the street from uh, the crash, and you know, I just wanted to, you know, I saw the helicopters in the air field, and I just wanted to go by there, and you know, hopefully, you know, some of, I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I wanted to go over there and just, you know, feel that energy, feel that spirit. Um, read the book, seen all the documentaries, huge Kobe fan, and you know, I just, uh, like I said, man, I didn't in the off season, I didn't feel like I was doing enough. You know, and when you see Kobe and the way that he operated on the football field, I didn't think that I was doing enough. When you when you really think about Kobe and things that he's done, and you know, I definitely tried to apply that to my life, you know, my game as you know, as a teammate, as a brother, you know, um, as a father, and um, you know, it's it's been great, man. I hope we can perform in a way that'll make him proud. Vaughn, to go through the years that you did today. Oh, you know, it's just like having a second kid, you know, you love the first one, <laughs> you, know, you, love, you, love, you love the second kid too, you know, they're both totally different, you know, and you just want to, you just want to separate the two, man, it's, um, you know, that, that Super Bowl 50 team in 2000, 15 was amazing, man, and you know some of the special things that we did that year. I try to, you know, apply to this team. You know, the speeches that Demarcus Ware and Peyton Manning gave to us. I try to, you know, give them to these guys the things that they said. I try to, you know, word them in my way to these guys, man. And hopefully, some of that magic will, will rub off on us, man. We still got one more game to go. Uh, what is it about Stafford? About Stafford? Last one, you guys. What was it? What was Matthew like in the huddle, leading you guys back in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, it's everything you you would you would hope and wish for. Um, he had that look in his eyes all game. He motivated us. He pushed us one play, uh, one play at a time, and he drove us down. And he's just been doing that all postseason, all season, really, um, since I've been here. He, he's just had that look on him. So, just happy that we could, uh, you know, get him to this point. You know, I know it was tough in Detroit for a lot of those years, man, and just have an amazing opportunity. Just gotta take full advantage of it. All right, that's all we got time for, guys. And it was good. It was good. <laughs> Uh, I think we played well. Uh, we got the job done. So, we played good enough to, to win the NFC Championship to go to the Super Bowl. That's really all that matters. How does that feel to be going to the Super Bowl with them? You talked about it, you know, going into it, how much it can give you and some of the other guys. Yeah, no, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. I ain't going to lie to you. Just trying to take it all in, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it feel amazing. <laughs> 
I mean, that's really the only word I can think of. Like, it's been amazing. Jalen, what will you remember most about this game tonight? Uh, that we won. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know, know me though, like I'm, I'm, I be critical on myself and shit, shit like that, so, uh, you know, I dropped a pit today. Crazy, right? <laughs> oh, I'll never be, like, right in my hands, too. So I was mad about that for a little bit, but, shit, we won, so I don't even really care no more. I, mean, I was saving it, really. That's what I'm going to go with. I was saving it for in two weeks. Jalen, when you guys were down seven, I know Aaron's been vocal all week, but there he was speaking up again. Yeah. You guys. What, what did that do for you and then what was that? I suppose, nah, we just had to lock in a little bit more. We had to give more. I mean, we, had to, we had to really want it. That's what it was, was going to come down to that. Wanting it more. And we, had to, we had to show it. Everybody everybody wanted it, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, when any of our leaders talk, talk to us and, and, and gather us around and get us together, it kind of gets your mind even, even more right. However right you thought it was, it's going to get better, especially AD. To the boat, baby, so. can, can you eliminate yeah. some of the things that he was actually saying? You know, because for a while there looked like the 49ers were imposing their will, and then everybody saw it on the you know sidelines that he was talking to. What did he actually say to just imposing their will? Mm -hmm. Nobody imposing their will, is it? Yeah, well, what did he say? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember exact words, but you know, kind of just telling us, like, Yo, how, how bad we want it. Like, we right here, we gotta, we gotta do more, we gotta give a little bit extra, we gotta give more. That's, yeah, we just kind of went out there and did that. It was great. Like they were big time players, and we wouldn't have them on the field. That we feel like our defense big time. Everybody, no matter who, we, we feel like everybody can make the plays. You know, whether sometimes they get made or or, or not, we we kind of had that mentality at our defense, like you know, effort next play. Like I know you can make that play. You just didn't this time. It was fluke. That's kind of the mindset we had. We try to have that mindset to, to motivate each other and keep each other confidence up because we know we're playing with a lot of confidence and swag. We tough, we tough defense out there. So. It's, it's special. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for all these guys. Everybody who got to, you know, be a part of this team. And everything. Everybody did did this shit. And all, the, all the stuff that everybody sacrificed. It's amazing. Going back to that word, but it really is it's amazing. You used amazing a couple of times, but what does it mean to you actually playing in your home stadium at the Super Bowl in two weeks? Oh yeah, that's dope. Um, you know, I don't know how, how like the logistics of it work. Like, hopefully we can get our locker room. I don't know how all that stuff works, but hopefully we can be up in our locker room and have music playing and, and, and kind of get a vibe and uh, hopefully uh, LA come and pack, pack the stadium out. But uh, I mean, just playing the Super Bowl regardless, it means a lot, but yeah. I don't know, we don't, how, how they do that? Like NFC, AFC, who the home team technically? Y'all know? I, I, think the a I think the AFC is home team. They're the home team, so we're yeah. not the way. We gonna, it don't matter. We're going to be swagged out. We don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even, hey, it don't even matter. We're going to be swagged out. We're going to have fun. We're going uh, to enjoy and cherish all these moments that we have. Jalen, now. Just a couple Jaylen, more. Jalen, right. Jalen. What is the locker room like right now? We can hear it, obviously. You hear that raw wave in there? <laughs> Got a little raw wave playing right now. I don't even know what's next on the plate. Is Everybody just cherishing the moment, enjoying it. Enjoying being in each other's presence, enjoying this win. Um, because we know, you know, in the back of our mind, we're going to enjoy this tonight for sure. Uh, but, you know, after that, we're going to have to get back to work again. Jalen, the way this story was written, you guys wanted to play this team. If you had beaten them in week 18, none of this happened. They would have been out. So, did you want not only up to play this team, as, as we said, but did you guys to be going on defense to seal that game out and close on that final drive? You guys in situation to win. It didn't even matter. We we didn't we don't we don't think like that around here really like oh we wanna play so and so whoever is, we, the chips they fall however they fall. Um, whoever our opponent is our opponent and we 
go out there, we get a game plan, we try to defeat them. We ain't care about none of the previous matchups. That's just not the way we think. That's real. That's kind of negative a little bit. You know what I mean? If we think about, if we think about all the and they they go to six game winning streak. We can't think like that. We think real positive around here. Uh, we take it game by game, and that's what that's just what we did. And yeah, the defense being able to come up big and uh, kind of seal the game was was important. But I mean, don't get it twisted. Like Matt Gay uh, bouncing back, making the field goal. Like that's. Well, won the game, right? The game with the field goal. And offense, they did their thing, of course. Uh, staff and the group cut did their thing. OBJ, everybody did their thing. I can go through everybody, but everybody did their thing. We got time for one more. Jay, yeah. on top of all that big stuff in the last fourth question. quarter and turned the momentum your way, what was the reaction on the sideline when the Niners had to be forced to punt? Uh, I mean, we, it was a focus, like, mindset on the sideline. We just tried to remain focused and finish the game. That's, that's kind of been our theme this week is finishing games. We, that's something that, you know, in the past few weeks we felt like we weren't doing well enough. So we just had to uh, stay focused and keep each other uh, upbeat and confident and, and make sure we finish the game. All right, so I have time for it. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, Doug. And what a game it was. The Los Angeles Rams holding true to form win here at home in front of the thousands and 73,000 fans at SoFi Stadium. And of course, that included some of the 49er fans. However, at the end of the game, the Rams fans put all of their energies, as we said in our story, positive 100% energy and enthusiasm here to support the Los Angeles Rams as they come out winners over the San Francisco 49ers and beat the, uh, the jinx that's captured them for the past six games. And the seventh game here, lucky number, a lucky charm for the Rams. They win it by a final score of 20 to 17. And again, you could have asked for a better matchup. It went down to the wire. And very, very smart coaching. Great playing by both the offense and defensive teams. As we mentioned, it's one team, but there's two units, and they still make up the one actual team itself. Offense and defense combined to make a perfect perfect team here for the Los Angeles Rams as they're on their way to Super Bowl 56 in two weeks. Let's call it February 13th, 2022, right again, right here again at SoFi Stadium. So on behalf of our great production team tonight, Eric Sarney coming back onto the uh, uh, production scale with us. We thank him immensely for being here from start to finish. And yours truly, Rico Cabrera, uh, East LA Sports Scene, the owner, creator, producer, and we thank you for watching as we continue to follow the Rams. And who knows, keep your fingers crossed, say your prayers, that we will get a chance to come back and cover the Super Bowl. What a dream come true for everybody. So take care, be safe, be careful, but more importantly, be back for more of East LA Sports Scene.